So I'm moving. So today, let's pack with me. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. So yes, I am moving to New Zealand. I currently live in Australia and I basically have to get rid of everything in my room and pack everything into a suitcase, which is gonna be pretty difficult for me. So <laughs> I need to work out how to cull my dog Martin's, probably try make it only five pairs. I also have to kind of get rid of everything in my room because my parents, this is my parents' house, they are building a house and they're gonna move out soon. So probably can't do what I normally do, which is just leave all my crap here. So I gotta be an adult and uh, get rid of everything. So that's what we're doing today. And apologies, I probably will have to have the window open and the fan on because I am already dying. Maybe you'll just get nice sounds of uh, crickets and stuff outside. Maybe I'll start with the Polaroid thing because it's gonna be so satisfying. So if you haven't seen my Polaroid kind of frame before, it is massive. I'm not sure how many Polaroids are in there, but I was doing this thing where I was taking a Polaroid every day for a whole year. So I have a video probably linked somewhere, but that is what all they are. <laughs> By taking them out right now, you will see kind of how I made the frame. And it wasn't the easiest process, but there's already ones kind of falling out of it. So it's probably time to get them out and I'll put them in like a Polaroid book or something. So. You're probably gonna find I have so much crap behind this thing. Oh, can we lie it down? And if you were here from way back when, when I did the makeover of my room, how sad is it that I have to take it all away? So underneath this first layer was like the back of the frame. It's just like this thick card material. And then I kind of, have where the frame mount is. This was just to hold down some of the Polaroids. And I also have just a big bit of cardboard. Um, that was just to like thicken up the area at the back. And if you can tell, the back of the frame is really just a lot of paper. I like to recycle and this is all the printing that my mom had that she was getting rid of, so I just used that as the backing of the Polaroids. Uh oh. So this was underneath the, uh, the frame. It's basically a bunch of Polaroids that are like blue tacked to some paper. Now I just basically have to go through and take them all off this piece of paper, which should be so fun. All right, that didn't take as long as I thought. Uh, yeah, you're probably thinking, why does she have so much makeup on her face? Uh, like lipstick, probably not that much compared to most people, but I already just went through my bathroom this morning. And you know when you go through your bathroom and you're just like testing out all the different products? Well, I tested out all the different lipsticks, so here we are. But we've got these like <laughs> cutting boards. I guess I will donate them. They're good for art, but they're kind of gross, so. We'll start a donation pile and posters and that maybe I will put on Marketplace for free. So for Marketplace, it's always just super simple to put things up. If you put things up at a good price, then it'll probably go straight away. I put like quite a few things already up on Marketplace and I sold a lot of stuff on Depop for the last like two months or so. so I haven't just left this to the last minute. I mean, I am leaving next week, but most of the stuff is gone. Except there's still so much stuff left. I also have a lot of like music memorabilia. As you can see there, there's Empire of the Sun. This is a limited edition print from Kasabian. I think I might just package these up and they will go in storage. So I think all my plants and decorative stuff, I think, so my brother and my parents are both building a house, so they'll probably end up using all the plants, so I will donate it to them. All right, I think I need to tackle this a slightly different way because I kind of want to just pack the things that I'm taking and then everything else that doesn't fit in the suitcase, well, I don't know, it's gonna go. 
Now I think my problem is going to be is I'm only allowed 23 kilos and then only 7 on the carry-on. I'm going to try push my luck and take this for my carry-on and it is a carry-on size backpack but it's probably going to be a bit too heavy because there's going to be like a toiletry bag, there's going to be cameras, computers. Ugh. Now I have to be kind of picky. I think I might try to wear the heaviest thing on the plane. The thing with corduroy, which I have a lot of corduroy, is quite heavy. The thing is everything's so thick. I guess I'll just have like a shortlisted pile of clothes on the floor. The good news is dresses are super easy to pack and are super light so it's probably just gonna end up being a lot of those. Guess I need to start a donation cell pile even though I only have a week to sell anything. I'm also going to be taking these masks just as entertainment in quarantine, let me know if you want any Dumbledore or Snape related TikToks. Like, I don't know which one to take because these are so similar. Like, I don't really need two jumpers that are the same but different colors. I'm thinking now, because this ain't going so well, I should just show you what I randomly pick at the end. Um, and we just move on to what you've probably been waiting for is purging my Doc Martens collection. So this right here is where I currently keep all my Docs. They're kind of a jumbled mess because I tried to put them all in my suitcase. So I think I'm just going to go through and work out which ones I'm definitely not taking and then we will work from there. And I know it's going to be a tough decision. Probably 100% not taking these because when do I wear them? I don't. They're like couple sizes too small so these are my old faithfuls these are the dogman pollies but i know they'll be good if i put them in storage for a while uh i love these ones here which are the kind of python print ones but probably don't wear them enough but i can't bring myself to sell them <laughs> so basically my mom's gonna have a massive box of dog Martens in her new house. Basically my plan is that I'm going to be one of those cool moms. If I even have kids, probably will end up just having cats. But I'm going to be one of those people where my kid grows up and has heaps of cool clothes and stuff from the early 2000s. I guess that'll be cool then. Um, otherwise I'll have to try to get my cat to wear these shoes. Probably won't take these, even though they're the grooviest shoes I own. Definitely a classic, but I think I'm going to opt for one of the platform pairs because that's kind of what's in right now. Also not going to take these. I want to keep them pristine so packing them in my bag to go traveling all around everywhere if I can even travel all around everywhere is probably not a good idea. I'm also not going to take these even though they're such a classic. Um, I just don't really wear them too often so... Ah. Now I know you guys love these, but they are getting pretty old, like the soles of them are going a bit, a bit weird and the top of them have gone like this. Here is the 1461 versions of those. I may put them in the maybe pile. They are so comfy and could be good having a brown shoe, I guess. I'm probably going to be so regretful, but I'm not going to take these bad boys. I will do a pair of definites. Coincidentally, the heavier shoes I own. Uh, these bad boys are the Doc Martin Bethans. They are coming with me. They are like my faves. I guess I'll put the yeses here. I know I need to take some Jadens, but which Jadens is the question. They're the OGs. They're very comfortable, although on New Year's Eve I did get a huge blister on them. Even though I've like never got a blister from them in so so long. These kind of go with everything, but in saying that, like so do the Bethans, they go with everything. Basically when I was talking to my boyfriend he was against taking these and more into taking these. One, they are way lighter than these ones and they're kind of a cool different colour to take. I love 1461s, but I need to kind of pick if I want brown or white. Let me know in the comments, brown or white. How many have I got as no? One, two, three, I got nine no's. Imagine if I sold them even for 50 bucks. Why didn't I do that? Sandals. Like, I don't have any sandals, although I probably will be taking Birkenstocks with me. Ugh. Also, what is going on with my hair? These are honestly on par with some of the heaviest stocks I own as well, 
which is crazy because they're sandals. And what we have left to choose from, I'm having a tough time saying no to these. I could always get Sinclair's sometime. No, Jen, put it down. Yes, I got these new 1461 quads. Not new. Pfft. Second hand, but new to me. And because they're kind of fresh in the collection, I'm kind of really tempted to take them because I want to wear them so bad and I haven't been able to wear them anywhere and they go with everything. Like they could be a good kind of pair instead of having the Jadens because they are just like a shorter version. And the other pair is these, which again is another pair of heavy shoes. They're also super easy to pop on because it's just like, yeah, done. I am so sorry, sandals. Definitely taking these. It's like, is it worth taking these as well? Even though they're in some ways similar because they're a quad sole. I do really love these, so they might come with me. Okay, so as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs. Yeah, I'm going to put them in the no pile unless there's room in the bag. If there's room in the bag, they can pop back in. It's a tough thing. I love traveling, but I also love fashion. In reality, I'm going to have to go traveling for a while. Go just take a few Doc Martens and then come back to Australia in a year's time with nothing in my suitcase and just fill it with Doc Martens once I know where I'm living. I know this really makes no sense to take these but I'm going to put them on the yes pile and I'm going to maybe just wear them on the plane strapped to my body and hopefully they don't think it's a bomb. Oh, I think I've somewhat made a decision. Let me know if I've made the right choice. On a very sad note, I am attempting to sell these on Depop as well as these Nikes. I think they're also going sad face but I guess being a shoe addict just doesn't go with my lifestyle. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of get rid of everything, pack my bag. Maybe I will give you an update at the end because I just know it's gonna take a long time and you probably don't even care. So I will see you in a second. All right, I'm coming at you, same overalls, different day. I now have the biggest mess on my floor. I have finally got some containers. So I can put all the crap that I'm not taking in these containers. Hopefully this room can be cleared by the end of the day. Also, just went to the dentist. Very important. My teeth are perfect. After six years, I'm not going to the dentist. So always do a dental appointment before leaving the country. Anyways, let's go. So it is now officially like, I don't know, a few days later, who knows? It's taken such a long time, so yeah, I don't know what I would do if I had a whole house worth of stuff because this has been brutal. But now is finally the time to pack up all my Doc Martens. I'm just kind of sad because I'm saying goodbye to like 16 of my closest friends. So let's do this. I'm gonna pack them with this stuff and hopefully they all fit in the box. completely fit in the box but I do have another box that I can fill up or put them in a suitcase but um yes this has been me trying to pack and then working out that packing is not fun and this video is probably not that fun but thanks for watching my name has been Jen if you haven't already please subscribe um, my Instagram's at in the wonder years and until next time keep wondering